We're getting ready for our sushi. Mm -hmm. I just got ready. I am wearing a normal outfit that doesn't have sweatpants on the bottom. <laughs> Crazy. Yep. Crazy. Took me like five different tries, but here we are. This skirt is from Zara. It's, I got it for like six bucks off the rack thing. Yes. Yes, she did. Nobody wanted it. I did. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we're gonna try sushi for the first time. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take you to the sushi restaurant that was my favorite when I lived here. And when I looked it up, they had a lot of the sushi that you I thought you, you never like. been there. I have, I have been to this place. This was oh, a place I remember liking, and then I looked up and had good reviews, and it was one that had uni. It's like a nicer sushi spot. Yeah, so I'm excited for you to try uni for the first yeah. time, baby. I know. If you don't know what uni is, it's sea urchin. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, you know that spiky ball in the ocean that nobody wants to step on? Mm -hmm. That is uni, and it's orange. And if you don't like uni, you probably had bad quality uni that tasted like... The bottom of the ocean it's so bad bad uni is horrible it's traumatizing it's we like did. oh yeah dirty sex it's like dirty with sex. someone that didn't shower it's like you're licking that ew that's yeah. what it tastes like <laughs> if it's bad uni yeah it tastes like bad sex it tastes like 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 rotten pussy <laughs> ew baby well i saw a review of this place with the uni i showed it to you, you said it looked good that this girl said she's tried uni a few times and hated it, and then she loved it here and it melted in her mouth. So, you've also told me that uni's supposed to melt in your mouth, so I'm ready to give it a try. It is supposed to melt in your mouth, See but if, if it's, it's bad, it's not going not. to melt in your mouth. Really? No, it's going to be it's like... Gonna be old? Old, yeah. Mm. Okay. And it's kind of sketchy for me to get uni here in Utah because we're in, there's no ocean <laughs> here, so I don't know how long Just these unis have been frozen, how fresh they are. Yeah, so we'll see. Trust the Utah process, babe. Mm. We're gonna try our best. I'm excited. I know they also, they have nice cocktails. Uh, if at some point Ooh. we want that. Uh, of course I want a cocktail. Like actual cocktails or like sake? Yeah, I think they do from what I remember. Let me double check. That's rare. Most sushi places don't do that. Um, well, let's we'll see if this is the same place I'm thinking, but I'm pretty sure they do. But maybe not, we'll see. I might be mixing two different places up, so we'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Want to see should we go and then we have errands. What's new? <laughs> Monday's like our errand day. It's like our, our new errand and date day. Yeah, we have to. The only time we have time to fit those two. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, they have to go yeah. on the same day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go get some sushi. Show off our new camera bag. Oh, and the booty. Yeah, this is our new camera bag. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called, but if it's everything, we've been using a like what a shitty little tote bag to put all our yeah, stuff in. Just a little tote bag. It's been so messy. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Check us out. We're professionals now. Woo! Elevator's closing. <laughs> all right. All right. Love a I know this camera bag is so fucking light. I know. Oh yeah, it really is. Yeah. It has little I mean, compartments for everything. We only have what we have. No lens in it, but soon enough we'll have a lens. We're getting a new lens tomorrow. Mm. Tomorrow. Right after we film today. I know, it's so <laughs> annoying. It's going to yeah. make shots easier, though. Mm -hmm. Date night. I know. Date day. It's a date. Date lunch. Mm -hmm. Afternoon, baby. Yeah. The best afternoon with you. Mm. Hopefully we have cocktails. They have Sapporo premium beers. Mm -hmm. Wow, so she, here we come. I'm starving. I'm ready. I'm ready too. All right. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank Have you. you been in? No, Super I just fun. I just moved here from. Where? I'm from California, but I lived in Arizona for a year. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What brought you here? Her flight school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there be a flight attendant? No pilot. No. That's yeah. so cool. I love that. Yeah. I'm so excited. Our anniversary is next week. <gasps> yeah. Uh -huh. And then we get to go to Peru with amazing queer people from the internet and <laughs> change their lives, hopefully. Oh, put that. Yeah, that's true. What? They're queer people from the All internet. of our lives will end up all being really close. <gasps> okay, well, yeah. We actually have questions. So we want your cold sake, okay. um, but we don't want it very sweet. What do you recommend? The diamond's really good. The diamond? Okay. Okay, it sounds cool. Yeah. Well, is the... So that's like a medium dry and then the silver is going to be like more dry. Is the okay. is the pearl, is that going to be one of the more like cloudy ones or... Yeah, so okay. it's on the sweeter side, but it's not oh. like super sweet. You I, like I can't that. drink too much of the sweet yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Are all, is that the only cloudy one you have? 
Yes. Why is it cloudy? She's obsessed with cloudy. It's like a, it's like a, I don't know what it is. Uh -huh. It's like a gory, so it makes it like creamy. It's like creamy. Yeah, mm. that's what I like. Well, but. we'll get the not sweet one, and then if we still want another one, we'll get the, the, the sweet one for like a dessert drink. Oh, I love that. Do you guys have your IDs? Yeah, yeah we do. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of what is it called? The, the cloudy one. Oh, no, you guys probably know. You're probably like, oh my god. Nah. Please put it in the comments. Do we want to, should we get an um, appetizer? A matcha? No, I want the. I would, I'd rather get straight to the meal. Mm, fresh yellowtail sashimi and thinly sliced jalapeno with yuzu and miso sauce. Miso sauce. Miso sauce. Do you just want to do like, what's the plan here on this menu? So over here is the actual um, sushi. Let's oh. start with the uni. For some okay. reason, that's what I was thinking the nigerian sashimi is. We should ask her if they have uni because unis they don't always have it. Oh, they don't. Okay. No. So we'll ask her about uni. We might have talked a whole big game about uni and there might not even be any I know. <laughs> but assuming there's uni, you're about to see Ash's first experience with uni. Ooh, crazy. Yeah. Okay. Are you wanting to do an agiri and sashimi then? Yeah. Whatever that is. There's no just two pieces. That, like that has the uh, yeah, yeah. fish on top? Yeah. I wonder if they have like a plate of just like eight and we can just pick on that versus getting them individually. There it is. Oh yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Uh -huh. Let's just have a little toast. Okay. Yeah. We want to celebrate guys. We are having a toast on behalf of all of you. We have grown how much? On Patreon? <laughs> how much? No, or let's start YouTube. with YouTube because we're on YouTube. Okay, since last, since like our last day. That's a good question. I feel like we've gained at least a thousand. Well, we didn't celebrate the last time. Let's just celebrate all 32,000 of you. Yeah. I believe we're at 31,500, but we'll get a little ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Uh, cheers 32. to 32,000 of you <laughs> and to our 3,050 Patreon members. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you more. That's good. It is good. It's so smooth. It smells like a very light little thing of sweet, but or alcohol. And what do you call connoisseurs? the word? Yeah, connoisseurs. <laughs> <laughs> it just tastes like cold water with alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's me. Okay. Also, I need to ask you this question. Also, guys. Also, is it sake or is it sake? I you was calling it sake. I know you call it sake, and I'm almost positive it's sake. We're gonna ask. Um, is her name Abby? A waiter. Oh, okay. Sydney? Sydney. Um, <laughs> yes. She claims that she's, because she's part Japanese that she knows, but... Me? I never yeah. said that. Yeah, you did. You said, no, it's sake. You told me this movie. I never... Baby, okay, like, okay, I'm Japanese, but I don't claim to know anything about you told Japanese me, like, language. No, it's sake. I remember so distinctly, you're like, no, it's sake. It's sake. You were like dying on that hill. I was like, no, it's sake. She is tripping. I think this drink is too strong. No. Excuse me, Sydney, you can give a slighter oh drink for this woman. Oh my god, <laughs> You turd. Okay. Well, let's figure out our order and then we'll get back to you guys. Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna have another drink on behalf of YouTube and Patreon. And if you haven't heard of our Patreon, it's our lesbian sex education platform. Mm -hmm. And we have three different tiers. Mm. Yep, we have some fun kissing challenges, games, and we're starting to do guests. We just barely had a professional lesbian dominatrix on As there. Guest. Which makes it very we had a lot of interesting conversations yeah. on there and a lot of very, very good information. So we also are going to start having more guests on. I know we do have one in the works. Might have to be over Zoom, but it will still be a really good conversation. Yeah. We're working on bringing more people in and mm -hmm. just expanding all of our knowledge. I don't claim mm -hmm. to know everything. Yeah. Uh, I'm always open to learning from people. As Ash said, we brought in a dominatrix from New York. I'd love to bring in a porn star. I don't know. I want to know. It. I want to know it all in this lesbian domain of mm -hmm. sex. Yeah, we also have some friends who are polyamorous, and we're very monogamous, so yeah. we, I don't feel like we can fully speak to that, but... We can't. No, a lot to learn there, but yeah. we're going to order our meal. If you haven't checked out our Patreon, go ahead and check it out, and we'll get back with our amazing sushi meal. Woo! Cheers to that. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Wow. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Got to get We ordered... Close. Oh, 
so good. Yummy. Oh my god. We ordered the yellowtail, Yummy. spicy, jalapeno, whatever. Fancy, fancy. All right. Ash is feeling on a scale of one to drunk. <laughs> How drunk are you? Okay, I did. I'm doing kind of like an intermittent fasting. So I only had oh, like, you're a right. pickle and a tiny bit of like a mochi cookie thing we made. You only had a pickle? Yeah. I had a whole ass hot well, dog. Well, I wasn't feeling hungry yet. And so I was like, you know, I'm just going to wait. That's to, good. Like, really enjoy you shouldn't this food. eat unless you're hungry, baby. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so I was like, I'm not going to force myself to eat just because I'm not hungry yet. I'm like kind of want to try the intermittent fasting thing based off of how my body's feeling at the time. And my body said, oh. whoop. My body said, wait till sushi. So yes. I did. And so now I'm feeling it. And I would say, I'm like a six. That's, I mean, that's a better deal for you. I know, I'm like a four. Is. I will say, I want to be authentic with our audience. That we have been gaining a little weight here and there. There's a thing I gained 10 pounds, that. okay, let's, let's just put it out there. Ash is tipsy. Say it all, baby. Oh, I gained 10 pounds, which is, you know, it's fine. The weight fluctuates. However, yeah. I realized that... You don't want to be 10 pounds, actually. I think the way that I was eating wasn't the best for my body. Yeah. We yeah. went keto, and I was eating keto, but with the keto, I was snacking a lot, and I was eating really big portions, and I was just eating all these very, very fatty, but very, very car very fatty and very calorie dense foods like a lot of pepperoni and cheese and I'm realizing that that did not do well for me because when I was eating vegan I could eat anything that I wanted when I was eating other ways I just was I could eat a little more and it wasn't as high caloric mm -hmm. maybe so yeah I just am realizing I think I don't want to blame Peter for it too much pepperoni and cheese for you in general it's just the best I ever had the best you ever had it's good. It's the sauce. It's the, kind of sweet. Uh -huh. It's like a honey miso. Mm. Anyway, I realized that how I was eating actually was not that healthy. Anyway, yeah. pepperoni is not that healthy for you. Not a staple. Process as hell. Whether you're keto or not. Yeah. And I cheese didn't, too. I didn't gain Gotta ten, be careful. I didn't gain 10 pounds, by the way. Yeah, you like lost <laughs> 10 pounds. <laughs> I did. Um, I just haven't been working out as heavy weight, so... With that being said, there's no blame here. It's just a matter of me being responsible for mm. discovering and creating what I need to do to reach my body goals. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I just want to update you guys. We haven't shared about yeah. it. We were supposed to share our new scale. We got this brand new oh, scale. Yeah. I won't talk about it too much because I want you, you guys to see and it. I, I know it's a touchy subject for people. I just want to express, I think everybody has different, what's the word, um, Ways priorities. Of, yeah. mm -hmm. And to us, being really fit is a priority and something that we value. And moving forward, long term, it is a healthy way to be, you know. So we want to have as long and healthy of lives as possible. So we are trying to adjust some of our habits, make sure we're really being consistent with working out, yep. eating healthy, putting good things into our body. Mm. Like yellowtail and jalapeno. Okay, mm. there's something that our audience has been dying to talk about. What? Why did you leave veganism? Oh, yes. Veganism. How did you go for veganism, maybe, to full flesh eating, blood sucking carnivore? Yeah, I was vegan for like six years, and my ex, my ex girlfriend is very very vegan. She still is into veganism, and so up until we broke up, I started slowly like eating a little bit more dairy and started to eat fish while we were still together. Are like, you saying towards that the you end. were vegan because of her then? No, no, I was vegan first actually. Oh. Okay. Um, and she grasped onto it, and that's great. I still support veganism. I'm not gonna, like, I honestly do wanna start implementing some more vegan meals into my life, um, cause I do love veganism a lot. And mm -hmm. I, I also, the reason I was vegan, quite frankly, was the animals. I care about the animals. I care about the way that they are treated. And I also don't think it's like super healthy to eat like a ton of like red meat, especially all the time, which we kind of have fallen into. And I love me some steak, and so I need to kind of chill out on that a little. Mm -hmm. But what ended up pushing me off the edge of veganism, honestly, was how I got tiny. I got very, very skinny. I was not getting the nutrients I needed. I wasn't, I just don't think I was getting enough, not even just protein, but enough of the nutrients in general that I needed. Um, and my body started craving meat. And honestly, I'm one of those people, I do believe in listening to your body and what it's telling you. Like I said earlier, I wasn't hungry yet, so I'm like, I'm going to wait for my sushi. Before, like, what I was eating, 
eating vegan, I literally started craving meat, like craving meat. And it was hard to go back to eating meat. I felt sick at first when I first started eating meat. Um, but ultimately, I feel like I've had, I think it has helped me in terms of some of my brain fog dissipating. Um, I'm not gonna say any diet is like a cure-all to anything. Yeah. Um, and I, I still do like veganism. I just think it's very easy to, I know a lot of vegans who have gotten really, really, really skinny. It's great for weight loss if that's what you're wanting to do. I just am a little concerned about the nutrients. You really have to be good about um, taking your vitamins and I wasn't. I was not good about supplementing the vitamins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I hear you. I was vegan too for a year. Mm -hmm. That was crazy to me. I can't even imagine that. Yep. It happened somehow. I'm not anti-veganism. I still understand it a lot. I think I, I do want to implement more vegan meals, I've been realizing lately. Um, but yeah, it's... I don't like... I don't like something that restrictive, especially when my body is like really craving meat. I think there are a lot of nutrients that come from meat and animal products that are hard to get elsewhere. You can, if you're really, really, really good about figuring out your supplements, but that's that's where I'm at with it. Yeah. Listen to my body, I value my health over the animals, unfortunately. <laughs> as bad as that sounds, but. Well, thank you for sharing that. I know they've been dying to know, mm -hmm. especially your Instagram audience. It's been a lingering yeah. question. Yes. So there's my um, tipsy explanation <laughs> of that. I just found out the difference between nigiri and sashimi. Nigiri is basically the fish that has rice underneath it. Sashimi is just straight up fish. So those are the very authentic sushis. Um, a sushi roll is not an authentic sushi. I don't know if you're aware of no, that. That's very American sushi. <laughs> yeah. And this girl is not having it with American sushi. No way. I can have one roll of American style sushi and then it's just too much. All right. Mm. <laughs> are you namasteing them? Namaste. Let's move this stuff around. Awesome. Yes. Excuse our mess. And so the nut salmon, that is the smoked cinnamon, and then hamachi, escalar, tukinas, and the taco. And the what? Octopus. Oh. Cool. Thank you so Thank much. There you. you go, baby. Uh -huh. So. There's no yellow tail, though. Should, did she say there's yellow tail? I have a white one. I don't think that's yellow tail. You had it recorded, right? Well, it's on the camera. <laughs> I know, you had to record on the camera so they, they know. You guys know. You all know. All right, I'm gonna have the this. Should we share each? Like have a yeah. bite of each? There's, this is the same. No, that one's smoked. That's one's salmon, that one's smoked salmon. Okay, I'll have half of this one. Let's yeah. share this one. We share everything. Mm -hmm. mm, baby. So right. after this, we just had a executive meeting. We need to buy a food scale to weigh the food because we have a hard time knowing how much fish is this, how much meat is this. So hopefully Goodwill will have one. So you guys can join us on our Goodwill journey. Yeah, you said now. you... I want to do it with my hands. Look Real my... Japanese people eat with their hands. Baby, these are yours, I guarantee. I did That's not, not do that. Mine. I did I don't not care. do Take that. Mine. Eat with your hands. Baby, I did not do that. That's why I do it in Japan. That's such a you move. Mm. Mm. They just eat with their hands? Mm-hmm. The rice is bad, but the fish is good. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. Wow. Next is a smoked salmon. Wow, yeah, show them. Sushi core. So I'm gonna dip it in um, soy sauce. My turn. I think I put too much sauce. I like the first one better. Mm hmm. Mm. I think we can't leave the octopus for last. All right. I'm okay. Octo She's weird about octopus. We had some oct octopus in Peru. It wasn't my favorite. I liked it fried. It's a very interesting texture. See, look, yeah, she's gonna really bite that. What do you think? It's just octopus to me. <laughs> octopus to you? That's so true. Mm. 
What was this one? It's just tuna, I think. Yeah, oh, that that's one. tuna. I'll find out. That's good. I'm still chewing on this octopus. <laughs> Ooh, octopus are really smart. Why? They're just really smart. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad to eat it. Don't they have like seven brain? I don't know. I'm so sorry if you're putting these Ew. That was way too chewy. I couldn't even eat it. I still get kind of weird with some meat textures, I won't lie. And octopus are really smart. I'm moving on. Ashley's too tipsy to keep up with the champs. Look at this. I don't need all this rice. Mmm, that one is so good. I like that one. What is that? What was the fourth one? I don't know. Anybody remember? <laughs> you can have that one for yourself, the same one. And then the famous tuna. Mm -hmm. So after this, we'll go to Goodwill, hopefully find a scale. And then our Peru trip is coming up and we're gonna have the best seafood, the best food. Mm -hmm. Can't wait and meet the best people. So we have to pay, we have to send a large payment out to Peru for the trip. So we need to stop at, what was that place? Wise Ways, where did it go? No, it's not a place, it's online. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. You need to go send the money. I like the salmon the best. Really? Yeah. That sugarfish? Oh. We went to a place called Sugarfish in LA and Santa Monica. Mm hmm. Really That's our favorite sushi place. What about it though? I love the Yellowtail. Oh, yeah. I can't tell if one of these was Yellowtail. I don't think so. I don't. I was listening for it. I didn't hear it, but also I was kind of tipsy, so it's hard to say. <laughs> All right. I think I need more food than that, though. Yeah. I gotta order a second. Okay. Or something. We're back. I kind of want a normal. We just got our first normal American style roll, which was called Lady Something. And you're probably wondering where Ash is. She's in the bathroom. I already had a little bit, and I rate this a eight out of ten. I like the little eggs on top. The rice is what's not good about this place. It's like stale, cold rice, but other than that, not bad. I like how it's not too much rice, though. It's pretty delicious. It has the eggs. You're my American sushi. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're a white halibut. Wow. How do you like it? The thing with babies that you don't want to talk to her while she's chewing, it's like rude. She needs to chew like this. Kind of like when the lizard is on a rock trying to take in the sun. Yeah, I need to make sure I like it. How am I supposed to tell you what I think about it when I'm still tasting it? Makes no sense. It's pretty good. Needs a little more spice. Yeah, I will rate this place an eight out of ten, maybe even a seven. <laughs> I thought you could just say something higher. Maybe even. It's definitely not a seven. nine or a ten. <laughs> it's an eight. It's an eight. You brought it down. It's eight. Mm. It's an eight. Okay, guys, we're gonna enjoy these rolls and then we'll meet you at Goodwill. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, girls. Oh, and look at how hot my girl is. Show them your outfit, baby. Oh, my autumn nut. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right.
Do you like it? Thou should not lie. Thou should not cheat. Ash was playing that song every freaking day from Jojo Siwa mm -hmm. in the shower while she vacuumed. I'm sorry, I don't want to hear your hate for Jojo Siwa. I just won't accept it around here, so take it elsewhere. <laughs> so we need to find Western Union. I'm guessing. Right here. Over oh, right there. Oh, right there. Oh, MoneyGram. MoneyGram was the other place. Oh, MoneyGram. Okay. I'll see if we can get up here. Here we are. Are you guys in line? There's line. Yeah? Okay. Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody wants to send money. Here. Yeah. <laughs> or get money. So basically, this place, you either are here because you want to pick up money or you want to send money. And I am a money sender, so... Yep. We are sending money. We have to send a like down payment for our tour guide, our bus, um, some food, drinks. alcohol. Yeah. We are complimentary. How you say it? We're paying for alcohol basically for some of it. So, mm -hmm. but that's a surprise. Nobody that's going knows that yet. Unless they're watching this right now. Yeah, we're just doing that out of the kindness of our hearts. <laughs> just want to get them all messed up on pisco. Yep. I want some secret spilling. <laughs> Yep, you gotta really give them a true Peru experience. Yeah, so. honestly, you just need your pisco. So we're we're sending a deposit for the pisco sours, literally. <laughs> yep, the pisco sours, all the fun things we're doing. It'll be awesome. All right. Okay, well, we're, we're gonna dad. be in this line, baby, for yeah. at least like 30 minutes. So. Okay. Oh, really? That long? Okay. Well, bye, guys. Yeah. See you later when we're getting our treats. Show them this. We just finished. Don't, yeah, don't show money all our details, is, baby. Money is sent to money. Peru. Woo! Money is sent to Peru. And poor Anne, the gal who Yeah, this us. beautiful woman, Anne, helped us. And there's like a long oh, line there, line. as you saw. I got bigger after we turned the camera off. Yeah. So now we're going to get baby sugar fix. Uh -huh. We're going to go have sugar cookies while she gets steals the line. And what can I get for you? Um, I just want a sugar cookie. All right. Anything else for you? That's it. You don't want a drink or anything? Nope. Nope. What's up? It'll be two forty-four. Will that be cash or card? Um, card. Should I do card? Yeah, do the card. Ah. Oh, my mouth is watering, and I'm just waiting for this camera. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. This is actually thinner than the one from Fizz. The Fizz one was blue. Mm -hmm. Mmm, the frosting. Mm -hmm. Only 300 calories, guys. <laughs> Less than that, like 293. <laughs> uh, let's go. Well, I'm really tired. Can't wait to go home and take a nap. But one final stop. This stop. takes us back to our days when we first started dating. It was all about goodwill, remember? Oh, I thought you were pointing to the Jiffy Lube over there. I was no. like... No. <laughs> what? Ash and I's literally first week of dating was oh all oh my god you're right it was all goodwill finding stuff for the airbnbs i had so let's go down a memory lane baby That's true. oh my god so yeah. i've been saying goodwill i guess there isn't a goodwill here there's only savers which is a version of goodwill so yep. this is where we're going to be and hopefully are. finding a scale Nothing is promised when you go to a place like this, <laughs> but that's what also makes Nothing it really fun, right, babe? Promised. That is what makes it fun. Yes, it's an adventure. It's like a scavenger hunt. Yeah. Yeah, I've never ever heard or thought of there being a food skill at Savers, but we'll try. For those Anyone? of you that are on our Patreon, then you guys know that I was a full-time dominatrix, and when I was in Arizona, I had a, a slave, that's the right term in the world, of BDSM who came to see me and we were in Goodwill shopping for stuff for this Airbnb property I had and he found a scale and he bought one for himself. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to be over here. I'm hopeful if he could find one, why wouldn't the dominatrix? Why wouldn't daddy be Yeah, why wouldn't daddy dominatrix find one? What exactly does it look like? Is it just a flat little thing? It can look in many different ways and forms, Ooh, baby. Cold. It's all of a sudden cold here. And now I can look. <laughs> this has been annoying the heck out of me. Can you help me? Yeah, baby. baby. Yeah, it's like falling out. You have a tail. I'm gonna take it off. Baby, no. Just the throw it on the ground. <laughs> that's my property. What? Yeah, baby, that's mine. I'm just gonna throw my stuff on the ground. That's rude. Damn. 
hottie. With the body. Yeah. Just so they can see how hot you're. <laughs> you pervert. I know, but they didn't even get to see your butt because you're already walking back. Yeah, so well. Wow. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's the like non sexiest butt movement ever. No, that was pretty Honestly, sexy. my lower back is still so I could barely move it. That's all I got. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. Okay. Uh, we'll keep the camera on while we go in. We gotta, we gotta turn the camera off before we can't focus. We have to really focus. turn on our super We are learning how to vlog, and I don't think I can focus and make sure the camera is there at the same time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. All right, we're gonna focus and hopefully we'll let you find know. a skill. Buddha, we're home. He's like, what do you guys want from me? Oh, you saw food. You just ate, huh? He has fish breath. No, God, ah. come here. This is my guy. Cuddle with the, we're just family. <gasps> Look how he's cuddling me with my baby. He just, mm. is he purring? No. Oh. <laughs> I think he's pretending to like it. This is a silent Buddha. Buddha purr. He's playing dead. I just love you. I knew he was waiting to run. <laughs> he's a fake. Oh, no, I love this man. Don't oh, have any man. Just love. Oh, Alright, let's take our shoes off. Did you have fun, baby? I did. Knock yep. yourself out in sugar? Coma? Yeah. I did. And now I'm tired. Oh, so you guys want to cuddle now? And oh, I kind of want to watch videos about space. Oh. I fall asleep to a little nap. That's cute. Wait, I want to show off this camera bag. Look at the camera bag that we got. Uh, Everything stays organized in this camera bag now. And I love it. <laughs> I know when we first got it, you arranged these little Velcro things. I don't even know how you made it. I don't even know how you it. did it like this, but I put it together, yeah. And now there's put together by a baby. Yep. But yeah, it makes everything so accessible. Now we know where the SIM cards are, all the random chargers. Mm -hmm. um, this is what I use to connect the SIM card into my MacBook Pro because it doesn't have a connector for it. And then our camera chargers, and then our, you know different outlets for the camera chargers because mm -hmm. some camera chargers are different sizes. And then our mics, and more camera chargers because there's no such thing as enough. Mm -mm. Yeah. Nope. Anyways, this really helped us get through when Gaia came over and we did all the Patreon videos. Yes. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk more about Patreon when we were at Savers, but there was like a random man like <laughs> two feet away from us and like children around. And I was like, we'll shelf this. We'll talk a little more later. Um, oh yeah, but so I wanted to talk more about Patreon and Savers, but there was a bunch of random oh. children and men around. So I was like, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> but um, yeah, our good friend Gaia, um, one of Lex's best friends, came into town and we ended up having our engagement party dates around the time she was going to be there and my best friend came into town for the engagement party so it, was it was a party a grand old time we had so much fun and guys the best she is actively a dominatrix in new york city she's also a lesbian and um we filmed three different patreon videos with her so there's so much information in there about bdsm kink being a dominatrix being a lesbian dominatrix all that very yeah. interesting stuff but it's not just bdsm we're also doing lesbian sex education like how to finger how to scissor yeah hygiene on patreon but with gaia we talked about bdsm stuff on patreon everything's on patreon mm -hmm. so our whole patreon is lesbian sex ed oh feisty <laughs> lesbian sex ed and just like conversations in that world around lesbian sex in general fun little games and some challenges all that and we're happy to have been growing as fast as we have. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we're happy is because we're clearly meeting a demand that has not been met. Yeah. And Ash and I are happy to be the people that get to meet that demand. Yeah. And we're very serious about this. We just celebrated our 3,000, I don't even know how many we have right now, 
but earlier mm -hmm. with the sake shots. Yeah. Um, so thank you for being here. Thank you. Whether you're yeah. on Patreon or not, thank you. I truly wish I would have had this back when I was a confused little gay because I had no clue what I was doing. Yeah, it's rough out there. It's rough yes. never, like not having guidance and only having corn or... Which is really not good nothing. guidance at all. <laughs> yeah. And one thing I do want to have in our Patreon is a corn, a corn star that does lesbian corn mm. and we can compare if her sex life in corn is the same as her lesbian sex life not in corn yeah we'll have to see if we yeah can how much of it is not like natural and so much how much of it is just for corn you know there's yeah. so many things to do on patreon i'm very excited mm -hmm. super excited lots of avenues to to discover, to go down. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh. so yeah, family, we love you. We hope you enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you on day, I think five or six of living with my fiance. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ciao. Te amo. Love you guys. Gringa, te amo. <laughs> Latina, te amo. Oh, I need to do a go. Perfect teeth. Wow. <laughs> and gums. <laughs> <laughs>